It's a great pleasure for me to be here again. As Kostya Hanin, I was here many times since I think beginning of 90s, and it was always very fruitful. I met people with whom I worked and have been working later, like Juan Rivera and other people. So thank you for inviting me again and to give a talk. And this will be, as you see from the title, a rather innocent topic. And I don't want to give very advanced talk. Uh, So I start with the definition. Let me take glasses. I start with a definition who was uh, stated here several times already during this school and conference: is topological pressure. I know. Maybe I am talking. Not. Okay. Now it's better. Okay, I will try to speak louder. I hear myself very well. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is a standard definition. We have a continuous map on a, a compact matrix space uh, and real continuous function. And we consider uh, uh, sums along uh, blocks of orbits, as an phi, uh, sums of potential phi, and then we consider a metric rho n, which is maximal distance between blocks of trajectories. Uh, maybe, well, the one can discuss balls, but it is not necessary uh, here. Maybe I should pay attention to people that the ball in this metric may not be connected this exercise. Uh, okay, and then uh, there's a definition of uh, pressure. Uh, maybe I will use the pointer. No, I am not fluent in this. Does it work? No. Ah, yes, it works. Okay. Uh, so I consider such uh, sums x s and phi along blocks of trajectories of points which are n epsilon separated. I take supremum over all such uh, expressions and one end log. then there is limit because uh, if epsilon becomes smaller, then it is easier to have such set, so it is increasing uh, sequence. Uh, and analog analogously, uh, I can define, or oh, people define uh, spanning uh, sets and uh, pressure via, topological pressure via spanning sets, and then these two quantities are equal to each other. By the way, they don't depend on metric because there is another definition which doesn't use metric topological. And passing via this definition, it is very easy to prove this. So here at the bottom, you have the inequalities, which become equalities when epsilon tends to zero. And note that the left-hand side inequality uh, holds for all uh, spanning sets and um, separated sets because if we have two epsilon separated uh, set then and, and also spanning set epsilon spanning set then each point of the separated set has a friend from the spanning set a close point but here is two epsilon and there is epsilon so the uh, this 
identification is one to one injection. So, so the points that there are more points in spanning set uh, than a separated set. Uh, and to prove the right hand side inequality, I wrote here construction, but in this case it is. Uh, trivial because if we have maximal separated set, then it is also a spanning set. You cannot add anything else because it is a maximal separated set. So we don't need to construct spanning sets so that pressure is less equal. Uh, pressure spanning is less equal pressure separated because it is just the same set does the does the job. How it and it doesn't work. Oh, no, should press it stronger. Another definition is via uh, such supremum over invariant measures, probability invariant measures, entropy plus integral. And so the, the variational principle says that this is the same as previously defined pressures and uh, I remind here uh, what is measure theoretic entropy. Uh, this is just such a sum, which is written here in mu A log mu A, where A belong to such uh, wedge of uh, partitions F minus J A. And notice, uh, I hope uh, most of or all of you know, uh, that uh, this under the sum is sum of measure, log measure, there's minus uh, before sum, it could be put after sum, and we have in fact integral of the information function. One can change order, first take some limit at ev almost every point uh, divided by n, and then integrate, and this, this is the same by Shannon Macmillan Brehman theorem. So entropy is just integral of local entropies. So in this lecture, I shall discuss uh, phi a little bit uh, special. Will be minus t log f prime, uh, mainly for a parameter t bigger than zero. Uh, and this is different than, uh, harder than what I discussed before because uh, F can have critical points, uh, and in an invariant set, I will uh, discuss. Uh, and then, uh, with positive T, we have plus infinity. So we, have, we might have troubles. If T is negative, then the situation is also interesting, but uh, simpler. One can use Perot Frobenius operator. You, you take x, so this is the case one puts weights zero in this operator in some places, which is, brings to some troubles, but it is not anything much new. <laughs> so we, uh, I will discuss two settings, complex and real. Complex is uh, Julia set, uh, I mean f restricted to Julia set, and uh, real is what we call with uh, Juan Rivera Letelier, with which we uh, a little bit elaborated this setting, uh, uh, generalized multimodal map. Uh, so the, the map is defined on a neighborhood of a set, which is uh, invariant for this map. Uh, we allow and even are interested if, uh, in having critical points in the invariant set so that it is not just uniform hyperbolic. Uh, they are non-flat. We allow inflection uh, critical points. And either we assume bounded distortion uh, for iterates or we assume C3 and then after changing a map maybe in absence of uh, parabolic orbits, periodic orbits, uh, we prove bounded distortion from that there is such a theory in particular developed by Sebastian Van Strien and 
with Son Vargas and other people. Uh, so we assume topological transitivity and moreover positive topological entropy. So our invariant, our invariant set K is maximal uh, in a finite union of pairwise disjoint closed intervals, hat I, uh, whose, uh, we choose them in such a way that um, um, we don't want too much or in these intervals, so we choose them so that the ends of these intervals belong to K and uh, this maximality corresponds to Darbu property on piecewise, pieces of monotonicity. It means that if we have between two image points, some point in K, then its prey image also belongs to K. It's clear that it's related to its maximality because if prey image does not belong to K, we can include it to K. And the previous set were, were not maximal. So this is the same after some manipulations. Uh, this is the story about C3. And um, we try to make it um, rather general. One can uh, restrict uh, the class a little bit by just taking a multimodal map of interval and removing uh, Basis, immediate basin of uh, attracting periodic orbits. Uh, then what's left is called a Julia set. So this is slightly more general. And uh, an example of such uh, sets uh, are given by spectral decomposition uh, in, say, book by De Mello and Van Steen where uh, when you, we have renormalization, then what is left is such a set, then we renormalize again, and what is left is such a set. Uh, we don't want infinitely renormalizable uh, situation and invariant set because such set doesn't uh, satisfy some conditions like positive topological entropy. <laughs> so here, <coughs> why uh, this function and this pressure is called a geometric potential? Uh, I mean, uh, we introduced this name first time in the book with Urbanski. I used the occasion to advertise the book. I brought it here. It's from Cambridge. 2010. Uh, and justification is because uh, such exp uh, SN of phi, the special phi along block tra of trajectory is just uh, derivative in power minus T0. So it uh, would, wouldn't be minus if we uh, went backward. And then it is just diameter of pullback of a large disk in power T0, and uh, if T0 is uh, chosen appropriately uh, uh, so that uh, more or less sums of these diameters in power T0 overall pullbacks are more or less are far from zero and far from infinity, uh, rather close to one, then we can distribute measure. like in the uniform hyperbolic case uh, when, uh, when these Bn are roughly balls, and then it's easy to prove if one remembers the definition of Hausdorff measure and dimension, the dimension is just T0, because it, this is just exponent to which we need to, to take uh, diameters to have some uh, number which is not close to zero, not close to infinity. This is in the definition of Hausdorff measure. So this is the right exponent, which gives Hausdorff dimension. OK, now uh, uh, 
what is what happens in presence of critical points is that uh, the same as before uh, variational definition makes sense. Uh, this is due to integrability of log uh, f prime. Uh, we have uh, this, uh, as I said, spe special class non-uniformly hyperbolic, sometimes call it topological call it Ekman, that all Lyapunov exponents are bounded away from zero. And then uh, similarly as in the uniform hyperbolic case, we have how the dimension of k equal t0. But in general, uh, t0 is not a Hausdorff dimension, but hyperbolic dimension. Uh, it, can, it may happen that hyperbolic dimension is less. And hyperbolic dimension is supremum of dimensions of invariant isolated hyperbolic subsets of k. Uh, and this, here k is, this is both uh, complex and real. Uh, situation and hyperbolic dimension, uh, as I told, is defined as it, as, uh, it is written, but uh, it is first zero of hyperbolic pressure uh, to which I would go in a moment. But you can guess that instead of all measures, I will pass, to, I would consider only hyperbolic measures with positive Lapunov exponent or just dimensions of hyperbolic subsets. Uh, I mean, pressure is not hyperbolic substance. Uh, here is the picture. It's a picture from my paper with Katrin Gelfert and Michal Rams. Uh, this picture is accompanied there by uh, Legend transform of these uh, functions to get uh, dimension spectrum for Lapunov exponents. But here we don't need it, so I put only one picture, and you can see how the graph of pressure looks like. It is, uh, as somebody explained it here already, it is, all these graphs are uh, convex uh, because, uh, because uh, this is supremum of affine functions by variational principle. That's why variational principle definition is so useful. Uh, here is T plus. T plus is phase transition place where, where after T plus, uh, the pressure uh, is equal to an affine function, just minus t and minimal Lapun, minus t minimal Lapun of exponent. There may happen also another uh, phase transition parameter t minus for negative uh, t, in which I am not interested here because we consider t positive only. And uh, what I will tell in a moment is it holds for t between t minus and t plus where by definition pressure is bigger than, uh, than linear functions, uh, which means that it is not that individual trajectories carry most of the pressure or, or all the pressure. That's why I assume T, between, I consider often T between T minus and T plus so that, uh, yeah, so I thought pressure is bigger. These linear things. Here, I don't plan to talk about this on this lecture, but it, it would be bad not to mention this uh, theorem, which is my theorem from uh, my papers with uh, Juan. Uh, but there are many other papers uh, uh, where there are related results. Uh, I listed people uh, above, and this says that, uh, as I told, for t between t minus and t plus, mm. uh, there is, uh, for each t, there is a unique invariant equilibrium measure. Uh, it's ergodic, uh, absolutely con continuous with respect to an adequate conformal measure. So I just removed part of the theorem not to show it too long about existence and uniqueness of conformal measure and it satisfies probability laws as written here. Uh, 
okay, and there are some assumptions in the interval case, like, like uh, interval and no. Basically, in interval there are no additional assumptions. We assume topological transitivity here, so we a priori have kind of uh, Markov partition or puzzle partition. In complex case, one needs to assume something uh, which is. Uh, hyper, which is expanding away from critical points, which is automatically true for interval, uh, as it was referred to here already. Uh, for complex case, it is not so. One needs to assume something and, uh, and also some kind of mark of structure uh, around, not structure just, but uh, some pieces, uh, nice pieces which surround uh, critical points. So now, uh, as I maybe not told, but at least <laughs> it was written you know, in my uh, slides, if we have uh, this potential minus t log of prime uh, t positive, then it doesn't make sense to consider um, pressure via uh, separated sets because we could put points just at places where the function is infinite so and take supreme this is not interesting so instead we just take individual points and pre images so you see here the same as before but y are pre images of x0 not just a set of and epsilon separated points. So, to some extent, pre images of one point are separated. I don't want to evolve in that, but in the hyperbolic case, they are separated. Non uniformly hyperbolic or non hyperbolic, it is more delicate. And uh, Yeah, as I wrote here, uh, in a while we shall discuss uh, independence of this notion of uh, x0, but uh, we would need to discuss this also other useful <laughs> definitions of uh, geometric pressure, and here is uh, very useful is hyperbolic uh, pressure, which I already mentioned before, uh, uh, saying you about hyperbolic dimension, that hyperbolic dimension. Is first zero hyperbolic pressure. Hyperbolic pressure is the supremum of pressure over uh, invar compact invariant subsets of K or Julia set of uh, K and in interval K is Julia set and complex uh, K uh, case. And I explain here what does it mean uh, isolated. explain what does it mean that subset is hyperbolic or expanding, which is standard, uh, just expansion rate lambda. I, I think I use it, this notion on previous slides already, so order here is not the best one. Uh, and here comes a very important notion, a notion of a point to be safe. Uh, or safe with respect to critical trajectories, it means that the po safe means that the point is not for uh, in forward trajectory of critical points, but it's also not uh, fast, not exponentially uh, accumulated by critical trajectories. You see, for it's written for every delta forward trajectory is. bounded away by x minus delta n, I mean block of forward trajectory for j between 1 and 10. Uh, and, uh, and as these balls we avoid by critical points shrink and number of them with n grows linearly, then of course Hausdorff dimension and even 
other dimensions with other gauge functions are zero. So this is very small set. And in the complex case, it is true that for every, uh, it's complex, so it could be k, instead of k, maybe it would be better to write j of f, but uh, uh, as I wrote before, k is just j of f. Uh, this three pressure for every safe point is uh, hyperbolic uh, pressure. Uh, and maybe, uh, I will go back to this in a moment, but or maybe I will, no, no, I will not jump between slides. Uh, so it occurs that in the real case, it's also true, uh, which is not a big step compared to what we had before, but uh, it needs some additional observations before we assume it's something else. Uh, to know that tree pressure is independent on points, something else about points. Uh, what is weak isolation? The definition is at the bottom. Uh, it means that uh, uh, if we have periodic point close to K, then it is inside K. Periodic trajectory, sorry. The whole periodic trajectory inside a small neighborhood of K, then it is in K. It is technical and um, has other equivalent uh, definitions. Uh, and it is technical because uh, when doing shadowing, we capture periodic orbit. We want this periodic orbit to belong to K. This is about interval case. So a priori, it, it need not be true. It's weaker than uh, the set is isolated. And examples are just sets from spectral decomposition I mentioned before. So there is another definition. Uh, what does it mean? A point, not a set. A point is called hyperbolic. A point is called hyperbolic if you can exponentially uh, go to large scale uh, without capturing critical points. Uh, so Fn maps injectively uh, the, the pullback of a large ball to a large ball. And then uh, uh, the equality between tree and hyperbolic Pressure for Z safe and hyperbolic can be proved by a shadowing argument. So, and this was already in our paper with Juan Rivera and, and Sar Smirnov. Uh, one can make this ball X minus, minus what? It's not written minus what, but let me write like this and then after time, like small kappa times n, it is a big ball. Here, uh, we don't have a, uh, critical points do not hit. I mean, forward orbits till time n do not hit this, or even two times slightly longer than n do not hit. So, so we have um, non-critical pullbacks, and then finite time allows us, due to topological transitivity, to close this. So this is how we capture hyperbolic sets. So hyperbolic pressure is bigger than three pressure if we have two properties, the safety and also hyperbolicity of a point. So it was not clear before whether in the interval case this hyperbolicity is needed or not needed. The opposite, but if we have both safety and hyperbolicity, then there is no problem. 
The other inequality is trivial. If you have hyperbolic set, then when you consider three, then three towards the hyperbolic set is, gives pressure like pressure on the hyperbolic set. There might be some additional branches, but this doesn't matter for this side, the quality. Ah, here I refer it to Katok argument, because if one has a hyperbolic invariant measure with positive Lyapunov exponent, one can make, by using piercing theory, the same type of construction, just regular backward branches in inverse limit, and then after a short time, closing everything to get period, to capture periodic orbits or hyperbolic sets. <coughs> okay, so then, uh, as I already told, for safe hyperbolic there is no problem, but uh, we need to know that mm, that pressure, tree pressure does not depend on Z if Z is only safe, which uh, makes sense to prove such things because there are Almost everything is, almost all points are safe, I mean, except half of dimension zero, as I told you. So here some additional assumption about uh, periodic parabolic points. Well, I don't want to involve in that. Uh, so in the complex uh, case, uh, it is sufficient to have this property safe because if we have two points, as it is written here, uh, one is uh, Z1 and Z2, and if we have a set W, which uh, in application will be just union F J crit J from one to N, then you can find a sequence of disks omitting W, such a chain of disks, so the twice bigger disks are disjoint with W, in Fimum is called it, in fact, quasi-hyperbolic distance in the plane minus W. And then uh, the number of these disks, now the length of chain is square root of M. There is also square root of log 1 over R, but if I a priori assume that these points are within some distance, uh, log of 1 over distance is much less, is much less than M, then it doesn't matter. Uh, when I take backward trajectories, corresponding backward trajectories, then along the chain on each of the disks, we have bounded distortion. So, so together, distortion is bounded by constant in the power root of M. So we have comparable, if you take later one N log, we have com sufficiently comparable derivatives giving the same pressure. In the interval case, uh, you cannot do this because there is no space, no, no room for such curves. So in the interval case, we need to find another proof of independence of the street pressure on the point. Uh, this is, I call it this lemma QH because of this quasi-hyperbolic. <clears throat> now, let me drink. Where's my... Ah, so crucial uh, notion in these things is backward lapun of stability. Mm. That if you have sufficiently small disk, then or interval, then pre-images are also, uh, pullbacks are also 
uh, short. If you start with delta, you, it doesn't grow more than epsilon, and in the complex situation, it's not always true. So we have some troubles there. In the interval case, in absence of parabolic orbits, it's true. Remember that in the interval case, due to our assumptions, we don't have wandering intervals. It plays a role in all these things. <laughs> so how we do in real case, we just need to take any point W and compare it with uh, another point. But if we have another point, just Z, we can take pre-images up to some time, capital N, some constant, so that pre-images are uh, delta, uh, here delta divided by 3, dense, uh, so that further pullbacks are all the time shorter than epsilon. This is First we find delta, and next we find this capital N. So from one point we get some net of points, and then there are two cases. Either a point W, which we want to compare, pressure tree of W, we want to compare with pressure for Z, or its pre-image is Z1, Z2. Either W is between two such points, which are close, and then we pull back this interval z1, z2. And what can happen? There is a procedure, but I don't have the time here. This was, uh, uh, I think, first uh, uh, written by Juan. In his uh, preprint, I don't know whether it is published. Juan, is it published? <laughs> yes. yeah. Preprint is from 2012. Yeah. And then we repeated this procedure in our paper with Katrin and uh, Michal, we just pull back uh, when we capture, of course, we pull back twice bigger interval uh, to control uh, distortion. We pull back, we capture critical point, uh, then uh, at one step, we lose constant factor only when we compare uh, diameter with With derivative, then, then again pull back until we, but twice bigger interval, uh, capture critical point, etc. And as I wrote, using bounded distortion between consecutive captures, we prove that if we take Zn uh, situation, is that this is one of points in the boundary of pullback. The problem is that if we pull back, then it may happen something like this. This is Zn, and here is Zn prime. So, so here we can have pre-images of the same point. So, uh, so the Zn means one of points which bound uh, pullback Wn. We don't know to which of the original Z1, Z2 it uh, goes after time n. Nevertheless, first we can compare derivative with ratio of diameters of pullback divided by original. And then we can uh, compare uh, diameter of pullback of a slightly different inter interval, uh, V not W, but it is, so V is kind of half of W. Uh, and uh, and we don't capture critical points at all if we pull back not large interval, but, exponent, but x minus delta n size interval. So derivative is comparable to ratio. Uh, this ratio includes big interval, which is x mi uh, minus t epsilon 1 n, but this is epsilon 1 is close to 0, so it doesn't influence anything. There is another case when a safe point 
uh, bounds a large interval gap in the complement of K. Uh, it, it is not between two delta close points Z1, Z2, but then if it is hyperbolic, then uh, we had before some finite set of parameters of, of Z, and then we can take further parameters after sub-exponential time. Uh, we are already, well, this is comparement, uh, comparison of, of exponential rates. Uh, if the point is repelling, then in fact, uh, in fact, uh, instead of Z1, Z2, we can take some parameters, but not for after a very long time and have good situation. Don't have time to involve too much because we have another topic to which I have how much time? Five minutes? Two. So another thing is pressure via spanning sets. And here, uh, it indeed occurs to be the same. Uh, but we need to assume something. You see, uh, we assume weak uh, backward lapun of stability. So instead of pulling back large disk, we take uh, x minus uh, delta n size of the disk. And such a disk, and, and we can assume that such a disk after time uh, not bigger than n can, does not grow. I mean, if it grows, it grows sub-exponentially, I mean, pullbacks. And then if we assume this, we obtain uh, this, inequality, uh, this equality star, uh, and uh, this weak backward lapon of stability holds, because, uh, for example, if we have only one critical point in Julia set, uh, because uh, lapon of exponent at such a point uh, must be non negative, even lower lapon of exponent, and this is my result with Wishaw Shen and Gennady Levin. So, so here is under some assumption and Again, to compare derivative and, and diameters, we need shrinking neighborhood technique, which is uh, when you pull back uh, on this substantial captures of critical points count. You take, you truncate each time some small annulus so that series of moduli of annuli converge to something is, so that something is left. And uh, this allows to compare derivative with, with ratio of diameters. So, uh, f so we, instead of comparing uh, the spanning pressure with tree pressure, it is sufficient to compare with hyperbolic pressure. We already know that uh, tree pressure for safe point is the same as tree pressure for safe and hyperbolic, which is the same as hyperbolic pressure. And here, It's written that, <laughs> okay, we have three uh, and then okay, we have uh, balls which are around Okay, there are uh, balls uh, of, of diameter x minus delta n. I will not read it because uh, of lack of time. And these, uh, these balls don't, uh, can be pulled back at, uh, well by this weak backward lapon of stability. And these pullbacks give me, uh, I mean, their origins give me this. I need to build this construction, need to build this n epsilon separate, uh, n epsilon spanning set. And then there are points with which I have troubles. Uh, then if Julia set is connected, then, uh, then I can take points on, on the boundary of pullbacks. If not, then we use uniform. The, the fact that Julia set is uniformly perfect, which means uh, cannot be cut by annuli, uh, separated by annuli, which have too big uh, moduli. And this is in the interval case here. 
Uh, I have troubles because of for, uh, if I build spanning set, this is here. This all is the same. It's comp comparison with hyperbolic pressure. But how to construct spanning set? I need to somehow take an account pre images of points which are close to large gaps, and then. There's a problem because if I have a point, here's a gap, and if I have such a point, uh, then here is my point uh, which is safe. Uh, then when I pull back, it might happen unless we assume k just equals the whole interval, not the counter set. I think, yeah, yeah, I, one second. Then it may happen such that this point is not, uh, it might happen that at the pullback we have such a situation. And instead of parameters of this point, we get parameters of this point, and then. And then we don't know what is three pressure of, of this point. Unless this point is safe, then three pressures are the same. So here there are some troubles. I think my last slide is this. Thank you.